What's up, boys, boys and girls? Did you miss me? It's your boy Turnip, and I've got, I've got over an hour of Halo Wars for you. Are you guys ready? I think this is like five or six games or something. I, I've got quite a mashup of games with a lot of really good players, not just one single player this time. And we're starting out here on the Blood River, probably. I'd say one of my favorite maps in 1v1s. I've um, been loving playing 1v1s recently. feel like I've been improving, improving a lot, uh, watching some videos and just getting lots of practice in. And uh, oh yeah, also I'm on a, I'm on my new account, not my new account, it's a, it's my old uh, Halo Wars account from back in the day, On It Kid. So you'll probably see me see me uh, scrounging around for some lobbies here and now um, but yeah it's good to be back in action there was a little bit of a hiatus I took about a month off from YouTube and I gotta say the last stream we had was a lot of fun I think we had just about 15 viewers at all times it was a great great mashup we did some did lots of threes did lots of ones and it was a good time make sure you don't miss the next one I'm hoping here sometime, maybe before the month's end, we'll get a, another stream in. Um, well, let's talk about the game. So, we have... It's going to be Forge versus Prophet. So, as Covenant, you are, you're you pretty much going to go Temple first every single time. And I like to go into my hall. Get, oh, there's, a, there's a Kitty. I like to go into my hall on uh, Hall 3rd. Get up some jackals and try and maintain these hooks here. Like the money hook is super important. You can see P PQ already took his. He's a really good player. We played a few games. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get that up and just start pumping those pumping those uh, sleeveless sleeveless guys out there. But he's already got that one there, and he's more than likely gonna be sending his troops over to that reactor there. You gotta really be careful on this map. Um, a UNSC, if they get control of those little side scout towers there, all they, they got all they gotta do is throw some marines in there, and it's like near impossible to get out unless you've got a bunch of jackals. The prophet is really vulnerable to that early on, so I'm I'm waiting a little bit before I go over there, and I just wanna fill up those scout towers before I before I head out. But we're moving on up. We're getting some of these uh, some of these buildings here, and just chilling, chilling like a villain. I'm gonna throw this jackal in there and start helping out. And I wanna I wanna get to beam rifle. Beam rifle is where you wanna be at. Counter those flamethrowers that the UNSC are eventually gonna build. And look at that. Got myself a nice little. Local unit. Nice little resource elevator, and he's got himself... Oh, he Local had it. Units. It lit up over there, but he got out of it. Local he had units. the hook, and I'm going to go over there and push on that as well. Citadel upgrade complete. Local units. But I appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me in the comments. The channel's been growing pretty nicely, and yeah, I just want to say thank you again for everything. I really enjoy making these videos. I've been... Um, doing a lot of studying recently, so I haven't had as much time to play as I'd like. So, yeah, I've, I haven't been online as much as I wanted to. But hopefully that goes well, and Turnip will be an uh, educated man. But we've got the depot up already. we got turrets coming up as well. Um, so I'm going to just... I don't really need to do much here. I've got a really good lead. Um, I've got both resource hooks, and I have um, Prophet Tech 1 out on the field. And he did delete his barracks, so I'm not looking at much in terms of flamers. So I'm going to just start stacking up these hunters. I've also got another announcement. Um, hold on. Let me find... Let me find my announcement real quick. Show me where. We'll see what I mean in a second. What is it? 
I suppose. Hold on. I'll be right back. One second. Spirit bond. Research. Very well. What is all units? Can you hear that? We have a new member of the turnip family. A new a new little bitty kitty friend. Her name is Annie. And she is Dante's new sister. So we'll be seeing a lot more cat action here. Um, kind of a wild story, actually. I just kind of found her outside my house. She was underneath a underneath a car and we kind of beckoned her over and she just ran right up to us and you can't just you can't leave a kitten outside if it just walks right up to you like that you'd have to be a monster so we took her inside and then kind of fell in love with her and she has um moved on in and i gotta say dante has been like 10 times happier since she's arrived and it's just been awesome but I'm pushing up. I've got bonded shield right now. Bond, not bonded. Uh, spirit bond. Spirit bond is is totally going to take care of these stock tanks here. So I'm just gonna have them kind of sandwich these tanks and take out the turrets at the same time. But the barracks did come back up, so I want to drop that pretty quick and just kind of smush his units right around in the corner there. Um, it's not often you get to go hunters, but when you're in this kind of a situation and you can, you can uh, stop the air pad, you can, you can make it work, especially with that that early reactor. But now we're going to move on to game number two against B Day Leo 08. He is um, usually always on on the ladder some somewhere. He's always he's got a lot of wins in the the monthly ladder. Um, Usually only plays Barons from what I've seen. Seems to be his favorite map. But I think this was... I, I, I couldn't find any more games that I played against him. It just it was a kind of uh, unique game. So I decided we'd, we'd give it a look over here. I haven't watched this in a while, actually. But let's, uh, let's see what happens. All units. So it's going to be an Arbiter Mirror. Uh, this is a really good map for the Arbiter because of that healing spire in the center. Uh, I'm gonna opt for a, a temple second, only because, you know, it's, the Arbiter's so far away, like the enemy Arbiter, there's no way he's gonna get to you before your temple's finished. Um, so you definitely can get away with getting yourself a warehouse up. And my, my ghost kinda took a little more damage there that I like, I don't want it to die, so. I'm going to pull it back here, start just gathering the, the safe crates on my side. And you'll see that little turret thing I, I do there. So, another good little tip, it's kind of a micro tip, but it, it helps. Um, build a, a turret and then delete it around your base, just to kind of gain the vision. And you see how I, I noticed that the, the crate was there. It, it can help you find out where where the crates are going to spawn I am so you don't have to waste your time just running around or there might not even be th be any there for that matter so now I have two cats at my feet fucking with cords and possibly unplugging um, unplugging computers I had a I was really bummed I had a really good game on chasms uh, I was playing against a, uh, a very good Anders player, and Dante came over and he, he unplugged the whole computer right as the game was about to hit its climax. And that was, that was a little disappointing, but that's the cat life you live. So I'm getting a shield up, uh, shield third. Why am I getting a shield? This is why right here. I think that when I played him before, he, he did like to come over and strip strip my pads. So I'm going to just get the shield up and put an end to that nonsense. And at the same time, just kind of stack some of my own grunts. And I just, uh, I like to not have to worry about my base. 
and just be able to go take take some hooks or um, <clears throat> take some hooks or go on the offense. Like that's what I'm gonna do right now. This is Arbiter's a little bit out of position. I'm gonna just head on over and start putting some pressure on. I am going. What shall I do? Warehouse upgraded. But yeah, the standard play is definitely jackals on this map. Um, I, I, again, I'm not a big fan of jackals versus the arbiter because of the rage. You can there, you can, you can have like five or six beam rifle jackals and still lose to, still lose to an arbiter. Um, so I prefer air over everything. I think I got myself the upgrade. I can't remember, but I'm gonna just throw this grunt right into him there, and that is gonna hurt quite a bit. There we go. I get defiant right now, and it's important you stop your rage when you do when you get defiant or any sort of rage upgrade. Because if you're raging and you get the upgrade, you're not actually gonna benefit from it. So you can see right here, jackals are just easily dodged if they don't have beam rifle and that's gonna be it he's he's not gonna have anything left he's gonna have no arbiter no jackals so it's gonna be a little tough to uh, fight that off and moving on here to tundra we got myself versus j doe and your boy is the prophet of regret everybody's favorite it's gonna be a prophet anders game so we're going to see how that goes in just a moment. Uh, once again, quick plug for the sponsor here. Uh, today's video is, all, as always, brought to you by Dihydrogen Monoxide, uh, the world's leader in hydration. Definitely pick some up near your local convenience store, um, local market, swap meet, uh, local river, maybe lake, whatever, whatever you can get your hands on. Um, so yeah, pick up some today. Also, there is a new Turnip Discord, uh, Halo Wars Turnip Discord. And I've also kind of learned the ways of Discord. Also, I'm going to post down below the official Halo Wars Definitive Edition Discord too. Make sure you get involved in that if you love this game like I do. Join both if you want. If you want to talk with me and see some Dante... Dante photos behind the scene. Hop in that link, and if you want to get some, if you want to uh, learn from some from some good players and check out lots of good Halo Wars content, hop in the official server hosted by, uh, I think Legs Kindle is the owner of it. <clears throat> and yeah, uh, check that out. And uh, yeah, so I got Blessed Immolation. Um, <clears throat> Anders is going to be going into some hogs here. I'm going to be pushing up immediately on the offensive and try and deny a pad or two if I can. This is prime time. Prime time uh, to stop the profit if you can. I wanted to get that blessed immolation because I didn't want to be very vulnerable to the hogs. Yeah, usually the Anders is going to be pushing up a little bit quicker than than this Anders and putting pressure on your building uh, building pads. So I'm putting my turret down there because I want to defend defend the warehouses that are still still going up because the other ones have a lot more health. And I should be arriving right as this warehouse is coming up. There we go. Local units. Um, so I'm gonna get that turret over there and just start to put some damage down Do a little bit of that economic damage upgrade a pad there And my goal this game is to just Try to keep him on the back foot as much as possible Profit of regret as we all know is the scariest leader in the game so There's that he did upgrade that warehouse there, so that's going to be a big target for me. That's 225. And the production of that down the drain, if I can get that. 
Local units. <sighs> Got some Dasani today. Local units. Local units. Local units. Very refreshing. And also, I've got some Chex Mix on my side. I'll try not to crunch in the microphone. Unless you guys like that kind of ASMR stuff. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try that one of these videos. Welcome to Halo Wars ASMR. My name's Turnip. He's building a lot of Warthogs, and I'm not trying to deny those pads. Local units. Dante's right next to me at the microphone. What do you Local units. So yeah, I got the Local cross turret, units. and I'm going to be able to kind of stop him from doing anything. It's going to be hard to push on my base with those cross turrets. So, um, Anders is probably going to be coming home soon to defend, and I'm going to start popping up some factories. Uh, he's got quite a bit of hogs. I think he's up to like seven or eight, so that's Definitely enough to deal some damage to my profit here. So once these hogs come back, I'm going to just start hitting them as they come by. Just trying to get them as weak as possible. Quite a lot of warthogs to deal with. Um, so I'm going to just beam, the, beam this pad down and uh, then just get right on out of there. I think that's, I feel like that's a successful trade, if I were to say so. Dante's eyeing the computer already. I gotta keep him in check. There's gonna be quite a lot of Covenant games today. Um, I just think I think Covenant is the most fun to play, and I've been going random Covenant quite a bit, trying to sharpen my skills, as it were. Be so I'm gonna get heavy shield, and Prophet's got his own shields back. So we're gonna just head on out and. Start seeing what we can do, what kind of damage we can deal. But here the hogs are going to come back and start ramming me. I'm going to get a nice beam off. I'm going to get one, one and two hogs, but it's going to be a little too late for the prophet. Sacrificing himself for the great journey. But I'm feeling okay. Got my rates coming up, and I'm going to start pushing out. Um, I really can't double pump at this point, so I don't think I should have got that factory. Single pump is probably probably just fine in this situation. And then you can start to maybe take an expo a little bit quicker and get your profit back if you need to. But I'm going to queue him up and I'm just going to start, uh, start exploring. I got a really nice catch here. I'm going to get two hog kills. Um, it may be more. I don't know if he was paying attention or not, but that's going to be three hog kills for that one wraith. That's a really good trade. Uh, he's going to he's going to back on out of there. But he took this expo really sneaky play by his part there. So I'm going to just park this wraith right over here and just hopefully try and deny something. Local units. Local units. I've been uh, I've been really enjoying the wraith play recently. Um, wraiths, if you can get them at the right timing, they they can be pretty effective against a lot of the early UNSC units. You just really got to watch out for for two things: uh, hornets and local units. Well, I mean, basically, basically just hornets and, and canister shell tanks. Because once they get canister shell, you really need to have you need to have another answer. You need to be on banshees by that point, or you're just gonna get shredded. Unless you've got way way more than them, but I just prefer prefer the banshees in the later haul. Rates a little bit earlier on. So profit's gonna push up over here. Gonna get some extra DPS. Uh, maybe I could have double pumped. I don't know. But I'm going to be pushing on up. He's going to get the turret back there, and I'm going to start pouring in some wraiths over here. Got that one turret in the back, but I'm not too concerned about it. I'm just going to send the, the weak shielded wraith to the back and let the one in the front take the damage so it can recharge. I think I popped another turret up there because I just had some extra money, and I didn't want 
a bunch of grenadier hogs to just push on my base and take down that factory. But we've got the first tank coming out. Um, he took that expo really early on, so it kind of it, it gave me the opportunity to get, you know, get some some of an army out, and I'm going to try to use that that advantage. You know, use that to my advantage because this is his first tank, and you know, four four wraiths is definitely gonna gonna be enough to put some pressure on that. But yeah, that base ain't looking too good here, and I think I'm gonna get that scorpion. But there is the second Scorpion. So I'm going to send that weak Wraith to the back of the army. Get him out of the way and then push on up with those with those other three. But that was it. GG there. And uh, yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, we got the rematch between PQ... PQ Screw, this was game, I think game two or three on Blood River. And this one's a really good game, so make sure you, you stay tuned. It's going to be a little bit of a longer game, I believe it. Yeah, I think this one is a little bit longer. Um, but it's going to be another Prophet Forge match. I'm going to head on up with the Ghost right away and start... Uh, Start seeing where those crates are, those yummy blue crates. Try to scoop them up as fast as possible. I'm going to be a little bit uh, aggressive here and see what we got coming out. We got a barracks first this time. That is really good against against Covenant uh, going barracks first. So that's definitely definitely got me on the on edge right now. Because those Marines, you just throw them in the hooks, and it's very hard for the Covenant to deal with early on, unless you got lots of Jackals, like I was saying. Um, but oops, but Barracks first. It, it's he's not going to be able to get to my side fast enough, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get that um, I'm gonna get that crate there. I'm gonna lose my Ghost really early on. That is so terrible. That is just insanely terrible. I'm missing out on hundreds of supplies because of that, and I have nothing I can really do about it. Um, there's at least one, two, three, or three or four supply crates around my base, and it's like 90 a piece. So that's like 360 or something like that. So yeah, that's that's quite terrible. Um, but I'm gonna be going into the hall third and just defending this. Well. Keeping an eye out for any Marines that are trying to sneak into those well. those garrisons there, because if that happens, it's going to be, like I said, really hard to deal with. Uh, I'm going to get myself another an, another honor guard up. And yeah, another thing um, you, a lot of UNSCs do on this map, uh, they build two, two Warthogs at the very beginning. They drive them over to your left. And they'll camp your lift, so you got to watch out for that too. Um, there's really not an answer to that, not that I can think of off the top of my head, other than just, you know, maybe trying to walk him through or something, just get him in there quickly. But I got some of these jackals, and I don't see any marines, so I'm gonna kind of head on over myself and just drop some boys in here. Try to make some things happen. We got quite a lot of infantry over there, definitely more than I have, so um, it's not going to be looking too good, especially with the shields down on my profit like this. But I really need to get my eco up to match that forge because he's on heavy pads right now, and I don't have, I don't really have much in terms of economy. So yeah, I kind of those jackals were um, were no more. But oh no, I remember why I built that honor guard. I built that honor guard to go look for crates. 
because I was so poor. I just needed something. Bet you don't see that every day. Local units. And then I'll probably use that honor guard a little bit later on as um, as something to hold on to the garrison, like a reactor. Very well. Local units. Very well. Yeah, I'm going to be going into double hall, and then I'm going to get myself a factory up as well. Um, why a factory? You know, I can go and do either wraiths or, or ghosts. Ghosts are pretty good against flamers, so that's pretty cool, right? You don't see ghosts too often. Another, another reason why I like 1v1 so much, um, the unit diversity. I heard someone say that one time. You see a lot more units than you normally would. Besides just warthogs and tanks and banshees and vampires. Like, it gets old sometimes. Like, this one you can build build infantry, you can build vehicles as Covenant, and they actually have lots of uses. So I'm going to send these jackals back. The one thing that sucks about jackals is when they're moving backwards like that, they don't shoot can't really kite with them that well um unlike a flamethrower which can kind of do all of that but he's just got a mountain of infantry and uh he's got an air pad coming up too which is a really good move because jackals kind of suck against um jackals suck really against air and i've got myself a factory up which is also really terrible against air units so I need to get myself Tech 2 as soon as possible. Um, trying to get some, try to get some summits up and get some, uh, get some vampires out. I just need forces as well. You see that monster amount of flamethrowers over there in Marines. So I'm gonna send the Prophet right on over here and um, just kind of have these jackals take some shots at everybody. I'm gonna throw a grunt squad in there. Um, I'm gonna put the grunt in there just to help shoot at these sentinels. You know, they do a little better. They fight back and they're, they're less expensive than an honor guard, so it just makes sense, right? Uh, I'm not going to go for beam rifle in this moment because I don't... My my biggest fear is this air right now. Um, especially if I get enough vampires up, you know, they can just whittle down those... Um, whittle down those flamers little by little. I just got to really worry about my profit getting, getting attacked. So I'm going to ditch that factory. I'm going to opt for the double summit here and... Start putting some putting some more pressure down. All units. Very well. Local units. But yeah, and I'm not I'm not opting for stasis quite yet because I just I just need some units out on the field. I don't really have anything, and I've lost both of the money hooks, but I, I do have one of the reactors. Um, so I'm I'm really poor right now. I probably can't afford that that barracks there. Um, and I should I should have one more pad right now. I feel um, on this map though you can get away with you can get away with three unit bu buildings if you've got if you've got yourself both of those money hooks. But I I definitely don't. But uh, yeah, a lot of Blood River is just it's just fighting for control, fighting for control of these. Um, of these resources and these elevators so yeah i need um, i don't have any more out of tech i'm out of tech too sold out fresh out so i need to go get some more and try to push him out Local units. and at the same time take back my money Local hook units. i think he left a flamer Local in units. that side there what now? Very well. So I I might be able to just leave my vampires over that. And I'm going to switch over into Banshees. Just try to get some, uh, some more damage per second out. 
and hopefully combat any sort of tech switch into tanks. He did get RPG though. That's kind of scary. RPG is really good on these smaller maps, especially versus um, versus Banshees. But still, quite a lot of quite a lot of flamers and some Marines mixed in there. But I am going to be taking them out of this hook, thankfully. We're kind of just going back and forth playing Leapfrog with, with all of these uh, hooks. But that's, that's not good. He hijacked that, so that's really going to hinder my anti-air capabilities. I think he's got two Warthogs at the back of my base, so he knows exactly what I'm up to. I don't have any turrets popped up or nothing like that. So I'm going to send the Banshees in on the offensive. We did get a switch into the Vehicle Depot. He is on Tech 2 right now, so uh, it looks like he got Canister Shell. I think I saw Canister Shell on that tank there. And I'm going to just try and take down this Depot. Because um, the one the one thing about the Marines is they take a really long time to get anywhere. They're like a slow rolling. So if I can put some damage on here, maybe force him to come back, I can buy myself a little bit of more time. But he's going to get the same idea. And we're both going to just start the base race here. Try to trade each other's bases. He's got one vamp, one canny tank, um, napalm in here and flamers, and I've just got eight boost banshees. I'm gonna keep sending those, uh, sending those through, and he's got a few marines there as well. But he's got the entire map basically, except for the one reactor. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on back and just try and hold on a little bit here. Um, so yeah, he's aiming main over there, and I'm, I haven't even started to aim main, so it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty close. I'm gonna try and just pull back and try to defend, rather than attack him, because I know I'm not gonna win the base race, because my base is already half health. Um, I get, I get an engineer up, try to put some health on it, get some turrets up, um, but they're going to target, he's going to target that down pretty quick here. And my Prophet is not, he's not looking so hot. I don't want to get hijacked anymore. Um, oh, actually, maybe I'm staying a little longer than I thought over there. Well, I am getting hijacked. That's great. And um, I'm going to get some more engineers up. Hopefully try and try and defend. I'm gonna come on home with these vampires. Rebuild that pro or not vampires with these banshees and rebuild. The tanks I feel do the most damage per second, so I'm gonna try and stop those first. Uh, get the engineer up. Put some put some health on that baby there. It's a good idea driving them around like that rather than having them stationary. Because, you know, my Banshees will miss some shots. It's going to be pretty close here, though. Uh, I don't... Um, I think I should have gone into Banshees a little bit earlier than I did. Or maybe maybe come back a little bit earlier. But those Spartans are so annoying because you keep losing everything. Some of the Jackals, uh, I all uniteded the Jackals and they came on back. Um, but it's that's gonna be it. It's gonna be a little too much to handle. Um, but that was a really close game, so I, I wanted to include that one in there, and I sent the GG. But yeah, that was um, that was a really close game. Now we're up against another really good player on release. It's gonna be versus Mike NL. Uh, it's going to be a random all match. Release is probably my least favorite map, honestly. I, I hate release. 
I just suck at it for some reason. Um, it's going to be an Anders mirror, so all of you UNSC fans, this is for you out there. I'm, I'm definitely not a, a preferred UNSC player, but I'm uh, trying my best out here. Seeing, uh, Local units. seeing any ways I can get better. Local units. So release. Local units. Release is a very Local balanced units. map. That's Local not a bad units. thing. Local units. There's really nothing Local s units. like it's that's just it's just plain. Um, <clears throat> really balanced map. Like there's no hooks on it at all except for the Local units. Um, <clears throat> the the flood. I um, can't think. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get the ram off on that. I have no idea how my hog was weaker than his after that ram. Um, but Local units. the name of the game on this map is Warthogs. Everybody knows you gotta maintain the Warthog lead. You gotta make sure you don't lose them, and you gotta you gotta be on the micro for this map. You gotta be about the timing and keeping an eye on everything. So I'm just trying to win the money pickup right now. I'm going to be going reactor third. I'm taking a little risk here. Um, Anders can definitely go reactor second. And, you know, get a really quick gunner. But I'm taking a little bit of a risk and just trying to hide these warthogs all over the place. And, you know, get get more crates than him overall. Reactor complete. I'm gonna get that gunner queued up, Local units. and I, I think that's just about it for all the money on my side of the Local map. Units. I'm not gonna risk going over to his side and looking for crates. That's just a really easy way Local for me to units. lose a warthog. Um, I don't know where his warthogs are right now either, Local so um, I'm parking my parking all of my hogs behind my base, so that way if he's coming in, I can know which way to run away while I'm waiting for waiting for my gunner to come up. Local units. Dante just opened my door. He does that. It's like one of those latch doors, so you can just kind of pull down on it. And he's taught himself how to open the door, so I have no privacy anymore. Isn't that right, stinker? Um, so yeah, I got five hogs right about now. And uh, I'm going to just keep the hogs building, keep producing, get some pads upgraded as well. Oh, there's one more crate I missed, so I'm going to pick that up, too. All units. But yeah, if there's any matchup that I really hate the most, it's probably Andrew's Mirrors. Um, mainly just because, like, I'm not a, I'm not a really... Uh, I don't play UNSC that often. So yeah, um, I'm going to try and poke in here, see if I can find anything, and... We got the same amount of hogs here. One of them was a little behind. But nice even trade. It's going to be 3v3 right there. And I got my fresh hog coming in behind him. So we definitely traded out right there. And I'm going to keep some hogs coming in on the back. Look at those giant ass tentacles. Disgusting. Ready to roll. Just like this map. All units. Where to? All units. All units. All units. I wonder if anybody unironically All thinks units. the flood is going to like help out on this map with the release, like releasing them. All units. All but yeah, units. um, he's gonna buy that base, and I, I'm gonna be right there for the completion of it. He has, I'm pretty sure he just has those two hogs, but I don't have really anything either. I know he's pretty he's pretty broke right now. Um, he is going to get that early base up, and I'm going to just try and pepper down these war dogs as they are around. I'm going to get my reinforcement hog coming in and just put some pressure on this. Push some pressure on this fire base here. Gonna get a nice ram off on that there. Almost get the kill. I wish I would have got that, but it's too bad. All units. All units. 
and I'm gonna just keep on shooting this here. Um, so I'm not making any more warthogs right now, and I'm I'm not feeling confident that I'm not that I'm gonna keep everything if I just stay here. So I'm gonna just pull back. I'm gonna get him down to red bar on the base. It's probably gonna force a heal out of him. So, hey, I'm I'm happy with that, and uh, I'm getting my depot up as we speak. So I believe I'm beating him to vehicle depot, which I'm happy with as well. Tank lead is really really important in an Anders matchup. Tanks and Gremlins—that's the name of the game. So I'm gonna start the production. Vehicle depot. And I'm gonna clear out my tentacle farm over here as well. He's going to push up now. He's feeling a little more um, secure that he's got that expo. Um, he's got about five, five gunner hogs right there. And I'm going to fall back towards my base, towards that gremlin there. I'm going to put some work in. I'm gonna get, I think I got two warthogs right there. And my first tank is just about to be popping out. So I'm not feeling too good at this point because he's got that expansion. And I know the longer that he holds it, the less likely that I am going to win this game or, or do anything for that matter. So I'm going to push back out. Uh, one of those tentacles grabs my Warthog. Pretty, that's pretty sick. And I'm going to send some send some of these guys over to check this out see what's going on over there because um, he's got the expo means he's on a double pump of gremlins and I don't have or I don't have that at all um, but I'm, I'm banking on the fact that I got a little more tanks right now Local units. So we're going to sneak units. on in. We're going to crawl our forces through this fleshy Local landscape. And I feel like playing it safe on release Local is not a, not a bad strategy. Local you know, trying to maintain your numbers units. is what I mean, basically. Um, don't want to lose everything. Lose all of your Local troops units. by just sacking them into a base to try to kill units. it. Um, Local units. So I'm going to just poke in here, Local see if I can catch units. something like a gremlin Local or units. maybe a tank popping out. Uh, he did get that heal off on the base like I thought, Local and he does have a depot up over there. So he's, he's definitely units. on the double pump of gremlins. Local so units. I'm going to just pull it all back a little bit, get all my reinforcements together. Because I, I don't want to lose a single Local unit right now. Local units. Good to go. Local units. These tentacles, though, the, the center base, if you kill the tentacles in the front, and if you kill that base, it drops a lot of supplies. So if you've got the map control, you definitely want to clear this out, the center part right here. Um, he's going to kind of push out a little bit, and he's going to stun that Warthog, which is not going to be really ideal. I'm going to stun that one tank, which is not going to be ideal either. Um, but I definitely have the tank lead on him right here i've got i think th i got three to one right now so that's just that's awesome and uh he's got i think we're about even on gremlins maybe he has one more but i'm gonna be able to push in and just sort of just chip away at these gremlins here local units local units local units but micro in those stuns and just trying to do do some work here i'm gonna just take those gremlins out that tank is eh, i think it's just about to live it barely barely lives no no it doesn't it gets sniped but i'm doing really good work here just cleaning out all these reinforcement gremlins and i'm gonna start pushing some pre putting some pressure down um i've got myself a double pump going of gremlins now so it's gonna be a little bit easier I picked up my base um, yeah I, I really I, this map I just I struggle on the timing of it all um, I've, I've learned that 
I feel that going Fortress before you get an Expo is a lot better than just going from a station into a fire base and then into tank production. I think that a Fortress is a lot more reliable of a strategy and I've, I've lost to plenty of players who will just straight up just have more tanks than me. Uh, but I'm going to take down that depot and I believe he's just on a single depot now, same as myself. Um, and I'm just going to keep on pumping out the units here. But yeah, release is, release is uh, quite interesting map. Great cryo bomb right there. Going to get every single unit I have and move his units out of the darkness. He's got one, two, three gremlins, four gremlins. But, I mean, the stuns are going to be be one thing, but he's got nothing to kill kill my troops with. So that's going to be the game right there, GG. And let's, let's head on over to the, the next one. I know you boys are, I hope you're having a good time. I'm, uh, I'm really liking these games. Here's Tiny Shoe. Fan favorite Tiny Shoe, aka Socratic Atheist, making his way onto the channel. Um, played a game with him earlier. I don't think he knew it was me, though, because of the uh, alt account. But we've got another game on Barons here. And we're going to be uh, be going in Profit versus Profit Brew. Local units. Local units. So Profit Brute. I think it's definitely favored profit. If the chieftain's gonna rush you, he's gonna have a he's gonna have a hard time dealing with those honor guards. Uh, it's not really it, they're not the easiest unit to vortex down, unlike a jackal squad or something. So I'm gonna be banking on that here. I'm gonna get my temple up and send out some some forces. I don't know why I didn't queue up the pad. It's a really unnecessary delay there. All right. But yeah, Shu, really good friend. Um, really good 3v3 player. You can usually find him uh, playing for Dean or, or something like that with some boys. I got some turtles, some super turtles with, with Shu as well. I'm, I should upload those at some point when I get, a, when I get two and a half hours or so to to record it. But Brute's going to be pushing out with the with the Chieftain and that um, Chopper's going to be there too collecting. He's getting his his haul is going to be going up I think it was third as well. I just wanted to check that out. So he's going to be pushing up on the offense here and I'm going to be getting out some getting out some warehouses What is it? I suppose. What is? And I'm gonna be stacking some, stacking some honor guards, stacking some jackals, and uh, just waiting for the inevitable here. Just gathering some crates with the prophet. Uh, there's lots of crates on barons here to get, so rather than rushing right away, I usually opt to get all of the crates as soon as I can. So I see Shu got that reactor, and I definitely don't want him to have that. He took quite a bit of damage on his brute by getting that, and I'm going to be losing that. Losing that ghost, unfortunately. I hate when that happens early on. Lose all that money. But I'm going to stop this heal about halfway through, and um, I'm going to prevent him from really getting all of his health back. And I'm gonna head on over and try to take that back. You see where my flag is, though? Uh, I'm gonna place my flag really close to my base, so my jackals kind of get close to my temple. It's an ideal spot to defend against a brute, um, just because if he tries to vortex you, he's gonna be hitting those other buildings and not dealing as much damage. So I'm going to be sending in a Jackal over there. I'm in a really bad spot there. That Beam Rifle Jackal is doing lots of work. 
and that brute in the garrison is not helping either. That's no bueno right there. Taking lots of unnecessary damage. Should have been uh, watched a little better. But I don't want him to die, so I'm going to pull him right out of there. Send him on up to that healing, healing spire. Jackal did live, though, so I'm going to be stealing that back from him. And getting myself some... Some defense gauntlet. I barely made it out of there. I just kind of skirted right past his... Right past his chieftain. I think he might have just uh, been looking at something else and I was just able to sneak on by. Defense gauntlet. Research. Yes. I suppose. Local units. But I'm hurting for cash right now. Um, I'm going to opt for Blessed Immolation be a nice upgrade defend this rush coming out he's got wraiths right now that is a little bit concerning just because i don't i don't really have the tech for hunters but i'm gonna be getting a nice juicy heal on that boy there and kind of a mishap there he probably didn't think i was here so um the chieftain is going to uh, gonna kind of run around there. And I'm gonna queue up that beam rifle. I think I think Barons is uh, one of the funner maps. It's one of the DLC maps from. The Halo Wars historical, they called it the historical map pack. I don't know how all this is historical, but it was not a launch map. But I think they did really well with pretty much every DLC map except, except, ugh, except Glacial Ravine. Uh, I mean, Glacial's fun, but it's, it's just a turtle fest. It's one way through on a giant giant ass 3v3 map what is it? like who thought that was a good idea what now? I'm gonna be just clearing out those those flood there taking this money kind of like uh, on what's that map called uh, oh release yeah kind of on release if you clear the flood out you can get lots of good lots of goodies um, I got beam rifle and I'm gonna be pushing on out she did delete his haul so something else is coming up I'm thinking maybe an air pad so I'm gonna I'm gonna cue that up here enemy engagement there's the old chiefy right there local units local units local units warehouse upgraded local units yes local units moving Local units. Yes. Local he does units. have inheritance, but I'm going to just port these jackals complete. through here. Yes. Um, he's going to be vor trying to vor vortex them down, but they're going to do a lot of DPS. And I'm going to just get my profit right out of there. Your wish? Yes, if I must. It's going to be a little too much here, but the chieftain is going to die. Um, Wraith's, Wraith's still alive, though. He's heading up to the healing ring, probably to probably to stop me well maybe not Boost research. and yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try to transition over to air myself now that I got the now that I got the map control here what is it I suppose it's always good to take that scout tower as well just to see what's going on I think I kind of pad glitched myself over there with that jackal. There we go. On station. What? What do you want? What is but I got the scout off. It's going to be looking double summit. So we're going to be just repping in the double banshees on that. Uh, I wanted to stop that so I could just get that summit up a little bit faster. 
So I want to get as many banshee or vamps out as possible. Yes. Yes. And I'm gonna send in the old prophet here to see what we can do. Maybe we can we can uh, put a close on this one. Lots of profit games today. Hope you guys are enjoying the profit action. Always love bringing the profit, bringing the people the truth of what they what they need to know about Halo Wars. Enemy engagement. Local units. Summit complete. All units. Oh, and another news too: the Halo Wars uh, unit tier list has reached over 2,000 views. So thank you all for that as well. I hope you enjoyed that video. And I'm going to be pushing up here on the base, but that's going to be just about it. Without Tech 2, it's going to be really hard for Shu to do much. Um, so that's that's going to be the game GG there. GG to all of the players so far. And we'll be moving on. We've got one, two, th three more games. Oh, yeah. This, this next match, my... My internet lagged out, so me and Shu didn't actually play that game on Blood River. But we're going to be going up on Tundra versus Constipated Hero. Constipated Hero was also seen on Turnip's channel a few months back, maybe like a year ago now. But um, I think it was the Sergeant Forge Mirror on Blood uh, on Blood River. It was the one where I got like three hijacks with Spartans. But... Um, it's going to be an Arbiter Mirror here. Arbiter Mirror match. Another pretty cancerous matchup in this game. One of my lesser lesser favorite ones. Probably. Is that even a phrase? Lesser favorite? It's not my cup of tea. I don't really like it. It's kind of just the same thing, really. Um, but I'm going to be going Temple first. Absolutely Temple first on here. Um just want to start stacking up some grunts as soon as I can start taking this money because I'm assuming he's going to be really aggressive with his leader and with with this Arbor, Arbiter Mirror matchup I mean I'm not again I'm, I'm not the best 1v1 player so I'm I'm probably missing some some details but from what I've seen you know really denying pads is, is the way to go and then if you can get some grunts out and put some damage on that arbiter you're going to be looking good so uh, kind of a little er like in that earlier video i did against leo uh i'm gonna get i'm opting for a shield just because i don't want to get stripped and hopefully i will uh be successful warehouse complete but here he is. He's going to be coming right on in like I thought. I'm just going to cancel that shield because I know I'm not even going to get it up. And I'm just going to go for... Opt for a another pad instead. I'm going to recall because I don't want to lose... I don't... I just want to keep all my buildings up if possible. It's going to be raging down both of these grunts here. That's terrible for me. Um... They're really low health, but they're all still there, though, so it should be the same amount of damage if they land. But the grunts are very, very glitchy units. The pathing on them is not that great. Um, I did get one blessed pad up, and that's good. I'm going to have a little bit of a little bit of some, some cash flow, and I'm going to keep queuing up some grunts here while he's attacking that pad. Um... I really think you want to be attacking the build Local the units. pads that are building, Local units. Um, Local units. just because it's a lot easier to stop that. Warehouse complete. But I'm gonna try my best here to keep this guy off me. Local yeah, usually with uh, the suicide units. grunts. If you are raging and you kind of circle the grunts, like if you just circle around them, they're going to just glitch out and stop moving. So I'm going to just call those ones back a little bit. 
Oh, and I get I get one. I get one hit off there, so I'm a little bit up on the health. And he's using all of his money to rage, so I will have no problem doing the same exact thing. There's no reason for me to try and save up for something. If, if he's spending all of his and I'm spending all of mine, then we're still on even terms. I'm going to try to block him a little bit here and just hopefully my grunts can get something. Oh, uh, like, did you see that? Like, what was that? That's what I was thinking. Like, did you just moonwalk around my warehouse? Um, but, it, but anyways. Um, but I'm going to get the Arbiter on that there. And he's going to call the GG right there. So GG, that's going to be game number one. Or no, game number two, actually. Um, this, the one coming up, is game number one. Uh, so, let's check out here, Ready. game number two. Ready. So, up against Constipated here again, we're going to be going... Uh, this time it's a Brute Mirror. Got it. of course. A Brute Mirror Ready. on Ready. Tundra. Local units. So, I'm going to be opting for a Warehouse Ready first into my Temple. Local units. Uh, just because he's not going to be quite over here by the time my well, my my temple's going to finish before he gets here. Is what I'm what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to just be taking some crates and trying to yeah, just trying to get an early foothold on there. Um, this these matchups here, uh, brute mirrors are pretty quick as well. It is. A lot of rushing with brute squads. I'm gonna be queuing up those turrets to see if I can find any crates down there. Ready to go. And yeah, Move. send my Got chopper it. out and try to get some supplies from his side. Leader temple complete. Uh, I'm be opting here for another hall third. Chieftain's gonna be right over there. And I'm gonna send a uh, brute over there to get some get some of that that crate action. He's got his base locked and. I'm gonna put my Tell me where. put my flag right there, flag like I was out. saying earlier. It's a good spot to defend against jackals, or de defend your jackals with. Yes, of course. Ready. Hall complete. But I'm gonna just pick up some of these crates Let here and yeah, just try to try and try to win the Tell money game. Where. Brutes on the move somewhere. I don't know quite where. All set. Rolling. What? Yes. Where to? Turret complete. I'm going to get that turret up as well. I'm really trying to just play super defensively this game. All set. Because if I can get those jackals out, and if I can hold off the attack, you know, I'll be in a, I'll be in a nice spot to, you know... For the, the mid game, I'll be able to take over the turret and, you know, get to beam rifle, that sort of thing. There's some more crates there. Just being proactive, I'm looking around, but I noticed there he is. He kind of came out of the, uh, the darkness. You can see what I mean there about the... About putting the jackals right there. It's a good spot to do so, but he's going to port in some brutes. And... Yeah, that, that Vortex is just going to sweep up lots of these Jackals. I'm going to come back and just start defending. Local units. Really tough to get those Jackals out, though, when he's right in that position. It's, it's a tough spot. My turrets can't hit him at all. And... Um, He's just able to melt these jackals as soon as they come up. He also he got an inheritance on his chieftain. I was I was not expecting that. Um, so he's just gonna kind of chip away at my chieftain little by little. But I'm gonna just try and stack up some more jackals in here and get some get some turrets up. Complete. 
But the turret's gonna come up. Try and help me push off this brute here. But he's gonna move to the blind spot right in the be right in the center there. Very annoying spot for Covenant and UNSC. Right at the center there's the blind spot. You can't really do anything. Uh, I'm gonna unlock. I'm just gonna lose that jackal there. And um, just try to get my chieftain out of there. But as you can see, the jackals are doing jack shit. Because they're just getting melted by that vortex. And he's got a lot more health just due to the inheritance. Even though I've got the two the two turrets up, they're not going to be able to reach up there. He's just gonna keep on vortexing and just use that space to his advantage. Um, I don't have a citadel yet, so it's he's he's gonna chip away at that base little by little. And I think that's an upgraded vortex, maybe not. My base is about half health, and I've got turrets, two turrets that do nothing. And my haul is really not helping out as much as I thought it would be. Local units. So Local I'm going to queue up the Citadel here. Just try to get some Local extra units. extra health on my base there. Chieftain's at about half health. And I'm, I'm still stacking some jackals as we speak. So I'll have to recycle that turret because it's just not helping at all. I think a better move in this case would have been to um, just go right into either going to inheritance myself or instead of having that as a haul uh, make that into a summit like I was attempting to right there. I'm going to unlock and just try and aim down this guy here. Get these jackals out of the way. But they're all clumped up like that, so it's going to be very difficult. So yeah, I think Inheritance first here would have helped quite a bit. Um, it's That's going to be it for me. There's not too much I can do on that. Um, so I learned a little bit on that matchup there. And I'll try to remember that for the next time. But GG's. GG's. On to the final game here. On Perth Outskirts. Against uh, Inspector Gadget. Inspect, inspect her gadget. Inspector Gadget. Uh, I know he's been around for a really long time. And quite a good player to my knowledge. Um, so it's going to be a Prophet Mirror on Perth. I'm going to opt, instead of doing the Temple, when I saw we got Double Prophet, I'm going to just go straight into Ghost Play. Um, shoutouts for the Ghosts. Hit like for the Ghosts. This one's for you, Khrushchev, if you're watching. I'm going to go right into the Ghost Play here and get some get some boys out onto the field because we all know the mighty prophet has one one weakness and that is unupgraded ghosts so I'm going to just start spamming these out and um, yeah just uh, playing the game people get to pick up quite a bit of crates with these ghosts too so they definitely pay for themselves a ghost being a ghost is a hundred crates and you know a crate like those the crate pickups it's about 90 total so they're they're gonna be pretty cost efficient all units He's got his ghost there. I don't think he was expecting the, the ghost rush, so 
He's going to get trapped right there, and he's going to lose that ghost. And uh, time is really of the essence right now. I want to find his profit, and I want to put some early, early damage onto him because uh, if, if as long as I can stop the profit before he gets blessed immolation, like the fuel rod upgrade, it's going to be uh, pretty easy to take his take his shields down. You're going to need, I'm going to say about seven, seven ghosts to comfortably fight the Prophet when he's like that. Um, I, I get pretty lucky here. I got a, a nice sandwich. He's in between those rebels and also my ghosts. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of cooperate here and get these get the, uh, the the early damage down and I'm gonna deny him out of that reactor there but I'm gonna I'm gonna head on back and try and finish him off early that'd be a really nice win for me I do see the the turrets coming up in the back so I'm gonna split these off here and just try to head him off whichever way he went so his shields don't come back up and there they are um there's that profit right there, but I'm not going to be able to close the deal there. So I'm going to just pull out with what I have because I can't fight that turret and the profit. But I got about five ghosts, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to queue up that temple at long last and get my blessed profit out onto the field. So he was putting a little bit of damage on this reactor, so... I decided to come on over and start to finish it off. Send in the ghosts. They're not the greatest against these rebels, especially with those RPGs. One of those RPGs will pretty much kill the ghost. It's so weak. But I'm going to send the prophet over and try and beat him to this place. And I get the money as well. Uh, I'm, I deleted that pad because I really wanted to get some units out on the field. I should have I should have built a hall, but I didn't I didn't well I guess not not with all the ghosts I was making but I uh, I wanted to get some jackals out and um, yeah not have to pay for Citadel in order to get jackals out that just takes forever. But he's got the one turret up there. It looks like he was queuing up a cross turret as well from what I saw. And I'm just barely a little bit faster than him. So he's going to be showing up. And um, he got Blessed Immolation. So I think he was waiting. He was waiting to push out before he got that. Because he knew I had ghosts. So he didn't want to lose his, lose his profit again. So I think that delay worked in my advantage here. But I got two ghosts left, and I'm going to use them as my scouts. He's still on a keep, and we don't have any unit production buildings yet, so I'm thinking that's pretty good. And I'm, I'm already on beam rifles, so I'm happy with that. Local units. But he's going to be wasting quite a bit of time over there, just slowly shooting at that and beaming it too. You can see he, he ran out of money, so he's he's pretty poor right now. He couldn't even finish the beam off, but he, he really needs to get that, get that honor guard out of there. I am ready. Going now. Where to? Finally gets to sit it all there, so we're going to see what he starts making. Going out for another warehouse there, so I'm still going to be ahead of him in the jackal numbers. And he's going to be kind of waiting right, right there. And I haven't opted to upgrade my profit yet. Um, there's just no need to at this point because he has nothing that's challenging him. 
Local units. And also, I'd, I'd rather spend the money on Local the units. units. Local units. But no expo coming out yet from anybody. Got double haul up, so I'm going to be pushing right on in here and uh, trying to reclaim this. Local units. There's the profit right there. Those mighty beam rifles, just look how much damage they do. I'm going to kind of split them up there so they don't take as much damage in that beam. And I'm going to be getting the rest of my pads upgraded. Local units. Very well. All units. Still got a ghost scout left, so I'm going to send that up to try and find out what's happening. I think the prophet just drew... I think I just killed the prophet there. I'm pretty sure he started to walk back towards it. But we've got a lot of turrets up, so these jackals aren't really going to be able to push into that. Local units. So in that case, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna just start to take the map back, Local take units. the map and get myself the other reactor and just sit pretty. Doesn't have tech two yet, but he does have uh, lots of turrets. And if he's gonna be if he's gonna be sitting back there, I'm just gonna be taking myself an expo, just trying to win the the economic game. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, I know you guys have been wanting some 3v3 content, so I'll, I'll do my very best to find some nice games for you guys and give you some, some good commentary on it. Yeah, let me know, too, any critiques that you guys have. If there's any, uh, any 1v1s players out there, you guys want to comment down below how you think I did. Uh, definitely give me your feedback. I, all of it is appreciated. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys are liking the commentary style. It's been a while, so I felt like you guys deserved a pretty long video. And, uh, I'm just glad to be back in it. And, uh, once again, I'll remind you guys to, um, I'm gonna put two Discord links down below after this video. Uh, one to the official Halo Wars, well, not really official, but just the Halo Wars Definitive Edition Discord. And then my own Discord as well, if you want to come hang out. But the Prophet's going to be pushing up over there. He sees my expo, and I'm going to come on back. I'm going to start beaming some stuff. He beams down my shield generator. So he's got lots, he's th lots of stuff to think about right now. Local units. Local units. Local units. Keep upgrade complete. I'm going to be porting some of these jackals through here, and I'm, I'm bringing a lot of these home. Local units. Um, he's going to port units. through some banshees, but All I've already units. been a little bit ahead of him there, and I, I scouted him, so I'm going to be doing the vamps to counter it. Local units. And now I just want to make sure I maintain all of my, all of my reactors. So he's going to be pushing right back over there. Uh, I'm going to recall my Prophet. Probably didn't need to do that, but I'm going to recall my Prophet just to try to get him over there, and I'm going to send these Jackals back to the teleporter. So that way we can just port him in and take him out of that reactor again if I if I do lose it. Warehouse complete. Tell us where. What is it? Local units. I'll go. A little bit of lag there, but I still am rocking the baby prophet. The good old, the good old baby prophet doesn't even need fuel rod. But that that beam is it's not going to be enough to kill that amount of jackals. And we're going to take him out of this for a second time. Local units. Yeah, I've, been, I've been feeling pretty good with the Covenant play these past few weeks. Local units. I've been enjoying it. 
my my troops are a little lower than I'd like though. I'm I'm pretty pretty short on pretty short on units, but I do have this base here, so that is quite a plus. He's gonna be on boost banshees. He does get tech two for his profit. He got um, ancestral perversion. But that's going to be it. He's not really going to have an answer to the rest of my forces. I want to thank you guys again so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. Uh, this has been your boy Turnip. Peace.